Hey guys, Brandon here with Texas Plinking. Thought of a random video to make for you guys today. Maybe some of you guys will find it entertaining. But this here is an Airsoft Desert Eagle I have had for the longest time. Um, it still works, but I don't even use it at all. It's just a kind of a, a wall hanger. And it's all made out of plastic, nothing fancy at all. It's, uh, it's actually fairly cheap. But hey, it looks the part, so that's kind of cool. Um, but had it for a long time, just kind of overall got tired of the looks. And uh, I'm not going to sell it. Uh, because I've had it for so long, so it's just kind of something that I'm keeping for keepsakes, but doesn't mean we can't change it up a little bit. So I was at a local kind of hobby store and I saw some of this paint, and I've always been curious how well this kind of gold or silver or chrome spray paint really works. Uh, so I thought it'd be funny to try to paint some gold accenting on this Desert Eagle, make it look like a proper uh, movie gun. Um, but anyway, so they had an actual gold paint. This one right here is brass, but uh, just comparing the top of the can, this one looked more gold. The other one almost looked like rose gold, a little bit too, uh, I don't know, darker and reddish tint. So I just went with this. Let's just see how it goes. Uh, but this is just for fun. If I screw it up, I really don't care. But this paint you could actually get on Amazon from what I checked, just some Krylon metallic brass. Uh, so check the link in the description. I uh, will link to you guys where you guys can buy that, and they have a, a ton of other colors as well. Now for a proper gun, uh, whether airsoft or real steel, uh, painting video, you want to mask off all the important pieces. With this, I'm only masking off what I want to keep black. Uh, as far as all the function and the barrel and all that stuff, I'm not going to mask it off because really I don't really care about how it works, just how it looks. So just for fun, let's see what we do. All right, just finished masking it up. So anything that's blue is going to remain black. Everything else is going to be gold. So just the trigger, the fake safety, or actually, no, that one's real. This is the fake safety, uh, iron sights, the trigger, and the hammer, uh, and then just the whole group around there. So that's going to stay black. All right, let's take it outside and uh, start painting. All right, here's our first layer. Uh, looks pretty decent so far. Try to go fairly light. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that and then uh, wait for it to dry and do it again. All right, so for the rest of the painting part of the video, uh, it's gonna be no audio because copyright music was playing in the back, so you guys know how that works. Um, but anyway, pretty much all I did was just uh, paint it three different layers on each side. And then one thing I didn't mention, but I showed uh, on camera during the painting, is I thought that the paint was kind of looking a little bit too matte. I uh, wanted a little bit of gloss in there. So I used something called a Plasti Dip Glossifier. It's usually made for like using it on cars, like wheels or emblems or something like that. But pretty much it turns anything that you sprayed on a little bit glossier. So put down that, you know, brass or gold or whatever. Uh, looked a little matte, put some gloss on there just to give it a little something else. All right, and after three layers of paint on each side and then like two layers of the gloss, uh, we are here and dry enough. Uh, and so overall the finish is interesting. I think I'm gonna try one more thing. I think I'm gonna try to put some kind of like, uh, not so much like a wax, but some other kind of gloss thing, but probably do that once I uh, uh, untape it all. So this is not the best masking job as you are gonna be able to tell once I start peeling things off, but let's go ahead and attempt to remove some stuff. All right, and that is everything removed there. So now we have a little bit more black accenting. I probably should have masked off this right here as well. But anyway, there it is. So it looks a little too matte for me even now. So uh, I might want to try something um, and I'll let you guys know how that goes. So stay with me for a second. Okay, here's just a random last uh, kind of attempt to try to make it a little glossier. As you can see, there's kind of some uh, some white powder now. Um, this is just kind of like a car polish. Uh, and kind of when it dries, you could just rub it off with your finger. So, got a microfiber towel. And uh, it's just a little bit stubborn, but hopefully once this all comes off, it'll give a little bit more of a gloss. And from what I'm seeing, it does. It's just overall, is the color good enough to be golden? Uh, from certain lighting positions, it does look golden. And other times it looks like brownish yellowish. So you guys make the call. I'm gonna go ahead and take all this off and then, uh, I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. Well, I'll let you guys be the judge. I mean, for a pistol that I really didn't care about, this was just kind of a curiosity project that I thought I'd bring you guys along with. But, hey, it definitely changed up the look. Uh, a little bit more of a wall hanger now, but, you know, nothing too special or anything like that. But, uh, 
I'm curious how this would have turned out if I actually used the gold spray paint versus brass. I just kind of went with what I thought looked better from like the cap of the spray paint. Anyway, like I said, you could get that paint on Amazon and the glossifier is what you could get on Amazon. Um, as far as that, the car polish really didn't do anything. Uh, I would probably just doubled up on the glossifier to do more uh, than rely on car polish. But hey, gave it a shot and overall looks interesting. I'll give it that. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys for watching this random video. Um, in case you didn't see, I just uh, recently uploaded a video on my latest rifle, the uh, Ruger Precision Rifle. Just uploaded an unboxing video on that, so in case you, miss, uh, you missed it, um, I'll uh, send you guys a link there in the description and probably floating in the video now. Uh, and also check us out on Facebook and Instagram uh, for more pretty pictures. But anyway, of real guns, not airsoft. But anyway, that does it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.